Hello everybody. Um, I normally prefer to do polished scripted content on this channel, or at least as polished as I can get it. Uh, but occasionally a story comes along where I just want to get the information and resources out there so that the viewers of the channel can follow the story as it unfolds. Um, I'll be doing that again actually in a few months when hopefully if the weather's good I'll be covering the North American total solar eclipse with a live stream so that you can watch it with me. Uh, because my house happens to be dead center in the path of totality. But to the update, uh, the much-awaited next short-term dimming event has commenced with KSE 8462852, or Boyajian Star. It's literally happening right now. And uh, the, study, the scientists studying the star, including Drs. Boyajian and Wright, have been tweeting alerts this morning. And what will happen now is that scientists and amateur astronomers across the globe will turn their telescopes towards the star and collect data. This is already happening. NASA's Swift spacecraft seems to have dropped everything, and, you know, at this point, just dropped everything to look at it. Most important here will be the spectra taken of the star while it dims. Um, those should tell the scientists if the object's passing in front of the star if that's indeed what's going on here, are solid or somewhat transparent, such as a cloud of interstellar dust might appear, or at least give more information uh, as to whether the, it might be the star itself dimming or if it's, you know, material or how far that material is from the star. Um, we probably won't know much for a while regarding this. It, it takes time to study data, and of course I'll make a video on it when something is known. But for those of you that want to watch this unfold, I figured that I would come on and give links to the resources that I use to follow the story. If anyone has anything further that I don't know about, do add them to the comments. Um, and links to all this stuff in the description below. Firstly, I recommend the subreddit on the subject. There are lots of knowledgeable people posting there. And while I'm not much of a poster, I'm always off making videos and planning for eclipses. It's a fantastic resource, and a hearty shout-out to those folks that post there. Secondly, there is the AVSO data. This is the American Association of Variable Star Observers, and they post their data online as it comes in. Sometimes there's a lag, which there happens to be one right now, but they generally post it pretty quickly, almost real-time, I guess you could say. And this organization is dedicated to bringing variable star observers together and collecting data on well, variable stars. And they have been watching Boyajian stars, you would expect, and you can follow the data that they are collecting in near real time. The plotting that they are doing should get really interesting over the next few days, to say the least. The other links um, that I've included are to the official site of the star, um, where data gets posted, and uh, there's a link to Dr. Wright's excellent blog. Anyone interested in the possibilities of detecting alien civilizations will find his blog among the best on the web. It's, it's amazing. And then the Twitter stuff, etc. So anyway, just a heads up to something cool that's going on right now, and I thought that some of you might like to monitor it in, you know, as real time as we can get. And of course, I'll be back soon with my usual content.